Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I've got a very, very exciting announcement for you. So a few weeks ago, uh, I got an email from Troy Tradup. So Troy is a fellow booktuber. Uh, his channel is well worth checking out. I will link to it in the description uh, for this one. Uh, talks about all sorts of books, but specialises in, in horror. Um, Troy is also an author, so he wrote an excellent werewolf novel, The Forsaken Boy. Um, and he also is the owner of a publishing company called Tough Times. So Troy um, emailed me with an interesting proposition. When I first read his email, my initial reaction was, that sounds like a lot of work. Uh, but then the more I thought about it, the more I thought that also sounds like a lot of fun. So the announcement I'm making today, and Troy will be putting up a video as well, um, is that next year in 2024, we will be publishing um, a Garbogist anthology. So we are calling it the Garbology. Um, and it will be an anthology of short, trashy fiction. So for, for a long time, I've had this concept for Garb August that each year is going to be like a sequel year. So this year uh, was Garb August 2, which had the, the kind of tagline of Electric Boogaloo, um, albeit hardly anyone actually used that tagline, including me. Um, so Electric Boogaloo, if you don't know, is a, is a famous movie sequel. So it was Break Into Electric Boogaloo. And what I've always wanted to do with Garb August is to have each year named after a, a movie sequel, a trashy movie sequel. Um, so the th Garb August 3 was always going to be in 3D. Um, but I never knew, <laughs> I never knew in what way it was going to be in 3D. And then Troy's email provided the answer to that, that dilemma. The third dimension for Garb August next year will be the Garb August Garbology. So we are opening up for submissions from anybody who wants to submit a story to it. Um, you will find full details, so there will be a link in the video, um, to a PDF hosted on my website, criminoli.com, where you'll get you know all the information you need um, about how to submit and what kind of thing we're looking for. Um, but the basic, the, the two basic rules are um, that the, the story should be under 5,000 words uh, and it shouldn't it shouldn't have been published before. So previously unpublished stories under 5,000 words. Um, and we are open for submissions until the end of this year. So the anthology will be published next year in August to, to coincide with Garb August, but we need a ton of time in between um, submissions closing and the publication date to you know read through all the stories, decide which ones are going to be included, um, you know do all the proofreading and editing and all that kind of good stuff, um, which I, I'm hoping Troy is a lot better at than I am, but we'll we'll figure it out together. Um, so submissions by the end of this year and we've got um, a few kind of suggestions for the kind of things you might want to uh, you might want to think about so hopefully if you've been involved in Garb August if you've been reading for Garb August or you've just been watching people's videos you'll know the kind of thing that we mean by trashy fiction so so trash is not a term that we use to be dismissive of books it's not a judgment of quality it's more about the kind of uh, I guess the, the the kind of vibe of the story um, and the, and the reason behind the story. So um, we're looking for things that capture that that trashy vibe. So the kind of uh, categories that that Troy's come up with, um, and this is not by any means an exclusive list. Uh, as long as it's trashy, we'll consider it. Um, so. The things Troy suggested are um, smut is in the air, uh, which could be sex or romance, uh, shapeshift in lovemaking, so shift to sex and romance, um, manly men doing manly things, so men's adventure, western shenanigans um, or war stories, um, horror cheese, so we could have creepy kids, killer animals, mutants and monsters, um, watch the skies and your neighbours, alien invaders or post-apocalyptic stories, um, that's no mad woman in the attic, that's my first wife, gothic romance um, or anything else so anything that has you know the kind of garbogusty trashy vibe to it um, do send it in and if you've got ideas and you want to bounce them off me before submission feel free to, to drop me an email or chat on my discord or something like that um, 
as as I say, we we are looking for stories that are um you know that are enjoyable and well written but trashy, and that can be a difficult a difficult balance to find. Um, but hopefully, you know, the experience of of Garb August has given people an idea um of the kind of thing that we mean when we talk about trash. And this really is open to everybody. So you could be someone who's been published before. Uh, you could be someone who's written stories before but has never had them published. Or you could be someone who's never written a story but has always fancied giving it a go. So, you know, have a look at those submission guidelines, which, as I say, are on my website. Um, if you've got any questions, reach out to me or try, and we will try to answer them. Um, but, yeah, ha- have a go uh, and send us what you come up with. And the reason, uh, you know, I am super excited about this, A, because it's going to give me more wonderful trashy stuff to read, um, but also because, you know, Garb August has always been about getting as many people from the, you know, the YouTube community involved as possible. So not just people who make videos, but people who watch videos as well. That's why I do the, you know, the Happy Garb August videos where I have clips of loads of different people. And this feels like a very natural extension of that. So really really excited about it really keen to see what people come up with um and yeah really looking forward to, to that book coming out next august um and everyone enjoying it so i hope you're as excited about it as i am uh, and as always thank you very much for watching hope you're safe and well out there hope you're reading good stuff and i'll speak to you again very soon cheerio <laughs>